what it is, what it do, what it does. If this is your boy Sour Patch Gamer, how you doing, guys? My name is Sour Patch Gamer, also known as Leo. So this is a video that has been requested uh, uh, to me actually multiple times, and I have recorded it previously as well, but I wasn't satisfied with it, so I went ahead and deleted uh, old previous videos. But this time, I'm hoping to actually edit this video and put it out there for you guys to view. Um, I have created previous videos, I think it was 2017 the last time I uh, uploaded a game room setup video. Uh, this is 2019 version, it has not changed a lot, I still have a lot of the same equipment that I was using before. Uh, but yeah, now let's go ahead and get to the nitty gritty and start showing you what my game room actually looks like. I am going to start with things that are not related to the game room, but it will basically be a complete room tour. Alrighty, let's get to it. Alright guys, so this here, it is the entrance of my room. This is the door I normally get into my throne. The throne of where the magic happens. Here on this wall, I do have a portrait basically of Goku. Um, I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball uh, GT, Dragon Ball Super, all the anime that has to do anything to do with Dragon Ball, literally, I'm a huge, huge fan. And I purchased this, I believe, for about $80 or so on eBay. If any of you guys are interested in getting that, I will definitely post a link down in the description below. Um, I am not affiliated with eBay at all whatsoever, so this is just something that I'm going to be posting up for y'all, if anyone is interested, of course. Right over here to the right side of that, I do have a, this is my old, and I say old because I no longer do it anymore, but when I used to sell uh, items on eBay as well as Amazon, um, I used to buy items from like uh, liquidation.com or uh, bulk.com which were more of reseller, reselling or return to items. This is where all the testing would ha happen basically. This is a testing table, I used to take pictures there. Um, I used to have a monitor up there that <coughs> I would hook up the camera to uh, that would show a preview of the picture that I had taken. Now I've converted this. I still have the picture thing, but I've got a monitor on top of that. It's more of a charging cable and my camera gear uh, type of table. Uh, for now, that's what it's being used for. Uh, I do have a little bin there. I've got some things still that I like some tools and certain games that I have not sold. Here is a, it's basically a soft light, but I'm using this for my Philips Hue light that shines towards the wall. So whenever I'm streaming, you see the background, it's like reddish and blue. That's basically what that is. I do have an extra table there. I used to have that table open. I used to go across for items that I would be testing <coughs> since I'm no longer doing that. It's put away. Got a shredder there, you know, sometimes got important documents you want to get rid of you just don't want to throw in the trash I got the treader there alrighty now to this other side of the wall I'm a huge Avengers fan as well I do love the Avengers I actually bought this at Ross uh, Captain America it looks I liked it it looks uh, like old and whatnot I definitely love that frame also here to the left of that Got the Iron Man. All this stuff is pretty cheapy. I wish it was more expensive and collectibles, but it's not. It makes my room look pretty cool, um, and I like it. I like it quite a bit, actually. And it looks kind of cricket, actually, to be honest. So I'm gonna move this just a tad bit over to the right. There we go. It looks centered to me now. I've got, of course, I've got to represent my my brand, Sour Patch Gamer. That would be me right there. So that right there is actually my brand. I did buy this through Streamlabs. It is current, I only have five of these left. So if any of you are actually interested in getting a small frame like this, you can definitely go to my Twitch channel, which I will definitely put the, uh, the link down in the description below as well. Go to my store that I currently have through Streamlabs. These are gonna be collectibles, hopefully. Um, I only have five of these in stock and only five will sell. I have the very first one, so there's going to be one of the first one that's going to be sent to one of you guys, if one of you guys actually buy it. Here to the left of that, I do have another Avengers uh, frame. It's got basically the, 
the full gang there. Um, I also bought this off of Ross. It wasn't nothing too expensive. I think I paid $19 for it to be honest. So for that one and all the other ones I showed you, except for that one there, I don't have links for, unfortunately, so I won't be able to post up any links. But I definitely love that. <coughs> Here to the right, to the to the left of that, I do have a whiteboard. You definitely have to keep goals. You have to write things down so that uh, you remind yourself. Because sometimes you can tell yourself you've got goals, but you won't remember a day, two, three days later. So if you write them down, it'll definitely help you remember how to achieve your goals. How will you achieve your goals? got my schedule up at the top uh, certain things I've set for myself for my family and five rules that I've tried to basically implement within my life as well so, so some of these rules I did not come up with uh, it was more like Arnold Schwarzenegger that actually stuck with me and I went ahead and wrote them down as well alrighty so now with my game room set up uh, well, let's go ahead and get it started here that is my PC now this case I bought I believe if I remember correctly because that was four years ago off of Newegg and I don't remember which version case I actually bought um, it is dirty as you can tell uh, I haven't cleaned it out honestly it's been probably about a month since I've cleaned it out on the inside I do have a Corsair GPU <coughs> uh, and I forgot the the CPU itself. It's an Intel. I believe it's a 47 something K. Um, it's not. It's not the earliest at all. I do have my uh, Edgato card right there. That's what I used to be able to stream. And here I've got my graphics card. It's a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Titan um, graphics card at the time when I purchased it three four years ago. It was going for about twelve hundred dollars, and I did get that. I do have a AX eight sixty i power supply, and inside, of course, I've got several uh, hard drives, SD hard drives. I believe I've got a one gig solid state drive for my operating system, and I do have several storage as well. And I've got a server in my other closet, in a different in a different uh, room here. Uh, where my network room is actually at where I have uh, basically a shared a network shared drive there as well and I've got a small one three terabyte there and I've got a 20 terabyte in my other closet alrighty so that's enough about the PC itself for all these items that I do have on this PC by the way if anyone's interested in building a PC I will put those links down in the description below um, <coughs> I almost forgot I do have up here a collectible of Goku. Uh, this is supposed to be Goku uh, Goku Instinct. I am a huge col uh, collectible. I would say I say huge, but all I have is this one. I wish I had more, but they're pretty expensive to buy. Up at the top here, um, I do have that is a 920 uh, C920 Logitech camera. Uh, literally, <coughs> uh, that camera does give me a separate angle for whenever I'm streaming sometimes uh, during I um, forgot what it is let's say I'm waiting for a game to actually start I change my scene and that camera one of the cameras actually pointing me right there um, down here I won't be able I won't be showing both drawers and that is because that drawer right there is actually really really messy that one's a little bit messy but I will definitely show it to you either way over on this drawer I do have my PS4 Pro and I have my Xbox One X. They're not anything special, nothing limited edition of any kind. They're just regular Xbox One X, PS4 Pro. I do have an external hard drive. I believe that's uh, believe that's like four or five terabytes <coughs> of, of space there. Uh, because as you know games nowadays they take up a lot of space so you need to have that additional space storage I do have a charging station there for my Xbox uh, wireless Xbox Elite controller that's normally where I place it I do have additional extra extra controllers there uh, tools other things that I use uh, I do have one other 
uh, Phillips Hue light there, and I did show one. I did show one back there as well. That's my Phillips Hue, which that light shines to the wall and gives that blue accent. That one's blue. That other one's red. I do have, of course, a green and blue screen. Sometimes, if I don't want to show, let's say my room is messy and I don't want to show the back of my room, I would put that up. Alrighty, so heading over to the left. I do have, as you can see, all the matrix. That the matrix, uh, currently I have it set up to show my Twitch count, uh, which is my Twitch follower count. I would like that number to be for my subscribers, but it's only for followers. So that is my follower account there. Of course, I do have my cell phone there. I should have taken that out of the frame. I've got my controller here. This is my Elite controller. Definitely love it. I like the pads in the back. Very, very versatile. I can do a lot of things. I do have here also an A40 headset, an Astro A40 headset. I actually have two. I also have this one down below. That is the white edition and that is the black edition. Why I have two, honestly, I don't know. I did buy the uh, Xbox version and the PS4 version. Apparently each one came with a headset because apparently the Astro 840 mixer can only be used with either or. It can only be used, uh, the Xbox can only be used with Xbox. PS4 can only be used with PS4. So I ended up buying both. Hence, I've got two headsets. I do have here as well the uh, Ballista Trinity. That's nothing special. That's just for me to be able to control. If I want to play music in my speakers out <coughs> outside of my stream, I can play my music through there. I do have here, this is awesome uh, by the way. This right here is really, really awesome. This here is actually my stream deck. I'm able to control my scenes, uh, load up all my screens by the touch of a button, and get a control like macro control, uh, macro configure them basically on here, man. I, I love, I love, literally love the stream deck. Um, all right. So with regards to the monitors, monitors themselves, <coughs> I do have three 34 wide inch monitors. Now, I will not say that these are the best monitors out there because these are not the best monitors, not for gaming. Uh, but for now, these monitors are doing the trick, honestly. For now, these monitors are doing the trick. They're doing what I need them to do. Eventually, I will upgrade whenever I can afford to buy me new monitors. They are, as you guys know, monitors can be very, very expensive between seven to $800. Um, if you want to go on the higher end, then most likely I will end up going on the higher end side of things rather than the lower end because I want something that's going to last me four to five years. So these monitors here, this monitor here, I use for my chat and then I monitor <coughs> my stream through here. Normally I have the dashboard open actually, uh, so I keep that open. This monitor is the one I use to actually do my gaming, honestly. And right above that, I have my camera. I actually have the Sony A7 II. Uh, I know this is an overkill of a an overkill of a uh, lens, uh, but I love it. I love the actual setup. I do have a soft light over there that actually brightens up whenever I'm streaming. Uh, <clears throat> and this and this monitor here, I actually use for my music. And I do have my GoXLR application. I'll get back to that. And my OBS. As you can see, I've got my OBS. And I've got different scenes that I can actually switch to. Let's say I want to switch to my chat scene. Which, it's not switching. Why is that? There we go. And this is my, <coughs> my chat scene. Normally... As you can see, you've got my main camera and you've got the other camera I showed you, which is up there. And that camera shows my actual setup on the stream. I don't know if you can actually see that, but yeah. I do have uh, an iPad. This iPad actually, uh, for me to listen to my actual stream, 
uh, in my ear, um, be able to test the sounds, make sure that everything's coming across. That's the iPad I use. I normally plug in a headset through there and <clears throat> make sure that I'm able to listen to match the stream and that it's coming, the sound is coming across pretty well. Um, this is a mixer I used to use and I say I used to use because I am no longer using it right now. I actually bought something that, well, I wouldn't say is, I wouldn't say that it's much better, but I prefer using that other one. But this mixer, I still have it for backup, and I still love it. Um, and that's, uh, by the way, this mixer, it is a Yamaha MG10XU. And it, it is a phenomenal mixer, especially for streaming. And all the outputs you actually, output inputs you actually get with it, it is an awesome, awesome mixer. Keyboard. This is a Logitech G910. I love this keyboard, this mechanical keyboard. I definitely, definitely love it. Um, I don't think I would go to any other keyboard at all. And if I do, it'll probably be something similar to this, to be honest. Uh, this is, I don't even know which brand of. This is the Mamba Razor Tournament Edition mouse. Um,. Uh, this mouse here for gaming, I don't like it at all whatsoever. Um, but for now, it's doing the trick. Uh, I do have the Shure uh, SM7. I do have the Shure. I do have the Shure SM7B microphone. This microphone is an awesome, awesome, awesome microphone. I cannot say enough about it honestly I can't even describe it because this microphone here man when I converted over to this microphone I noticed a huge difference from uh, I forgot uh, it was a Rode microphone I used to find out I don't remember what the model is which I still have and I'll do a second uh, actually I will do a second streaming station for my kids uh, with the other microphone so I still have it but this microphone, I couldn't recommend it even more. All right, so this is, I wanted to leave this to the end because this here, it's what I traded my mixer for. Uh, my old mixer, which is that one, I, which is that one there. And I traded it in, basically, not traded it in, but I, I converted over to this one because this thing, man, this thing does magic. Honestly, it does magic. I wish they would have additional inputs and outputs. That's my only complaint. They only have two. They have an in and an out. Um, and then of course they have a chat. And But I wish they had more. Uh, but overall, this thing here does what it needs to do. I love, this is a Go XLR. Uh, mixer I still haven't even peeled honestly the plastic because I'm afraid of putting fingerprints and stuff all over it and I don't know I still like for it to look like it's brand new so I still have the plastic on it to be honest this here replaced that mixer it replaced that mixer which is that's the Astro A40 TR mixer and then replace that mixer and also replace this. I, I could take that out if I wanted to. I just haven't done it. it my, my, my desk can actually look so clean if I just literally removed that, that, and that, and that. There's one, two, three, four devices that could be controlled by just that one piece. But I like my room to look techy, so I still have them on my desk. Um, and eventually I'll end up taking them out, but for now I'm going to go ahead and keep them on there, honestly. Because this thing basically replaces that, replaces that, replaces that, and replaces that mixer. Honestly. Uh, but for now, yeah, I'm going to keep it as this. So <coughs> this is the Sire Patch Gamer Room Tour. Uh, I hope that you actually liked it. Um, and yeah. All right, guys. So I noticed during editing that I completely forgot to do an outro uh, towards my actual video. And this is basically what this video or this piece of the video is. Um, 
I wanted to say thank you for those of you that actually stayed towards the very end and actually watched my video. If you're watching me right now, you're actually watching the end of the video. So for that, I literally thank you. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Also, um, go ahead and hit the like button on there if you like the video. Also, hit the subscribe button. That way you get notified whenever I do come on. Oh, whenever I do upload any new content, any new video, one of the uh, things I am thinking about actually doing in the future is actually doing some type of a vlog to show you what my daily life is as well. So yeah, hit the subscribe button that way. Uh, of course, you subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification button so that you get notified once I upload videos as well. Other than that, thank you guys for stopping by. Um, yeah, peace out, and uh, I'll be seeing you on my next video. Thanks, guys. Peace.